గీతం విద్యాలయంలో హైదరాబాద్ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ గీతం హైదరాబాద్ బిజినెస్ స్కూల్ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మసీ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ విద్యార్థులకు విజేత దినోత్సవాన్ని ఘనంగా నిర్వహించారు అచివర్స్ డే సందర్భంగా ప్రాంగణ నియామకాల్లో ఎంపికైన ఇంజనీరింగ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఫార్మసీ సైన్స్ విద్యార్థులకు నియామక పత్రాలను అందజేశారు రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఇరవై ఒకటి సంవత్సరానికి దాదాపు అరవై ఐదు దేశీయ బహుళ జాతి కంపెనీలు హైదరాబాద్ గీతం ప్రాంగణ నియామకాలను నిర్వహించి తొమ్మిది వందల మూడు విద్యార్థులకు సర్టిఫికేట్లు అందజేశారు ఈ సందర్భంగా తెచ్చువా సిఇఓ శ్రవణ్ రెడ్డి మాట్లాడుతూ ఈ విజయం విద్యార్థుల్లో ఆత్మవిశ్వాసం పెంచడంతో పాటు వృత్తిపరమైన నిర్ణయాలు తీసుకోవడంలో తోడ్పాటు అవుతుందని ఆయన చెప్పారు విజేతలను అభినందించారు విజయ్
Ruha. Parents, ladies and gentlemen, any education ensures three important days. One is, is the inauguration of the new batch of students, induction program, which you got about four years ago. The second one is the convocation where the passing out students take the degrees. The third important day is today, that is the Achievers Day. The Achievers Day, many people join in the education institute with the aim of getting a good job or going abroad. In our students, about 20-25% of the students are opting to go abroad and uh, the other people are choosing to go into the job and about 5 to 10 percent are settling in their own industry or business. This is how the composition is. The university policy is whoever joins at the gate of university, you should walk out with a job or a foreign seat or a good foundation to start their own industry or help them parents in their business. That is how it is. So naturally, combining these three, we have to develop our curriculum and also plan our activities, the extracurricular activities, co-curricular activities, in addition to the curriculum anyway is an important aspect. Visualizing the importance of the guidance for all aspects, Githam University, the last one year, has created, instead of training and placement, a new cell calling that one as the guidance and counseling. That is the GCGC, what it is. The idea of this one is, right from the first year, we have to develop that career rather than only training and placement. It is not the placement training alone. The career development is what the Gatham has been planning and we are going in that direction. And the, some of the outgoing students, what they are missing is the student's life. Our young president visualizes the need of the student life, a good life on the campus. A separate unit has been created as the student life to see that you enjoy the campus when you are here. It is not only by the good education with the other activities. So for that, a director has been appointed. These are the two things that have come up in the recent uh, past one year. Now last year as all of us know, it is a pandemic year for throughout the world. But the life cannot stop because of the pandemic. We have to see what is that we have to do, how to get our children. I say our children, when they are on the campus, all of us treat your children when the parents are here as our children. So our concern was how to train our children in this pandemic to get a good job. There are several challenges we have faced and with our own innovative solutions and the support of the management, we could find reasonable answers for those problems. The foremost thing is January 16, 2020, the government of Telangana asked to close down the institute. That was the, by the time Majority of the students who passed out in 2020 got job offers or training programs have been over. We did not have much difficulty because the placement activities, the training, etc. were over by the middle of uh, uh, March 2020. But our concern was what to do with this final years who are passing out in 2021. Because the conditions are not allowing the students to come onto the campus and how to do the job with the online, that is the training, and also the placements really, we were concerned about that. Fortunately, the training circumstances were faced by the students, and they did it also as the challenge, without their support to sitting long hours in front of the computer in training and studying, we did not have reached this stage. And as... Okay. Do you know which, which uh, magazine rated my company? Just kidding, just kidding, okay. So, I am married and I have a couple of kids. 
marriage, you need to have some skills when you get married and you have kids. What is the most important skill? To tell stories. And I am going to tell, start with a story today. Okay? This is a story about a, a shepherd. A shepherd is, flock, is grazing his flock of sheep in a remote village, in a great village. And he suddenly sees a, a shiny silver car approaching him in the horizon. And this car suddenly approaches him and then skids in front of him in a rash manner. And then from the car, he sees one gentleman coming out, all decked up, suited. He walks up to the shepherd and he says, Hey shepherd, if I tell you the number of flock, number of sheep in your flock, will you give one of them to me? The shepherd says, Okay, good enough, fair enough. Go ahead. This guy walks back to his car, pulls out his laptop, connects to his GPS device, runs some software, and then he comes back to the shepherd and says, We have 40 sheep. Shepherd is surprised. He says, Yeah, that's the correct number. So now he says, Can I pick one? He says, Yeah, go ahead, pick one. So this guy picks one and walks back to his car. And while he's walking back, the shepherd stops him. He says, Stranger, if I tell you, who you are, would you give back whatever you just picked up? The stranger says, yes, fair enough. And then this guy says, you are in management consulting. He says, how did you know? Very simple. You came out of nowhere, gave me the information which I already knew. Number two, you took my dog instead of the sheep. <laughs> What I wanted to tell is that you guys are all entering the corporate world. One of the key important things is for you to understand the business that you are in. Uh, people get in, you have skills, you all understand, you are all the achievers. But once you get, get inside, the key thing that is going to differentiate the kind of products you are building and the quality of the products is the knowledge of the business. So we just not learn about the skills that we have. We also need to spend time to understand, build a holistic view of the problem that you are trying to solve holistic view of the business, you also need to uh, understand the customer's needs. Only then you will be able to deliver or give a product which the customer is happy about it. Otherwise, you will be a failure, there will be a lot of reworks and reworks as you know are expensive, you will spend a lot of money again, a lot of time lost. So it's very important that when you enter into companies, start learning about the organization, start learning about your customers and then you will be able to give a better quality product. I won't end my stories here. I have one more story. This story is about my former chairman in my former company. His name is Ivan Ivan Seidenberg. Before he became a chairman of the company, it's a Fortune 15 company uh, with around $135 billion revenue. Do you know what he was before he joined the company? He was a janitor, person who sweeps floors in the bathroom and washes bathrooms, those kind of things. So he was a janitor. And it so happened that while he was working as a janitor, uh, after a couple of years, a year, uh, year after that, his superintendent came to him and he said, Hey Ivan, I know that you wanted to go to college. There's a telco company, if you get a job there, they will uh, you know, give you money or they will sponsor your college tuition fee. Ivan was surprised, he said, you knew a year back that I wanted to get into college. Why didn't you tell me this before? So this Superintendent tells him, I wanted to see if you are really worthy of it. So he saw that, so what it means is that whatever job you get, whatever work you have, if you do a bang of a job of it, you will always get noticed. So when you get into the corporate world, you also need to look and see, you know, what kind of work have you got, should you have bang of a job, work hard. Professor touched upon it, once you get into corporates, whatever you do, is going to reflect back on the institution and the institution gains so much and the students studying here also gain so much, they get a lot of opportunities. So what is the badge that you are going to wear when you are going? You are already achievers, you have to keep on achieving. As you go in, you all need to be noticed. So what, what can you do to get noticed? What is your key thing? You need to start thinking about it. On an IT side, I can say the guy who is walking in would want to be known as the best in uh, in IT industry for close to 17 years before, 17, 18 years before I quit the company. I was in a software side. 
And when I started my company, I got into IoT, a lot of electronic stuff. I design and architect a lot of electronic systems. I have no clue about electronics. I had no idea about what a PCB was, what it does, what happens into the PCB, things like that. But I developed that passion, started taking interest in that, and then as I progressed, that became my thing. So like that, in your job, you will find various types of works that you get. You need to start building your interest, and then you start understanding the thing, and then that will become your passion. Uh, to give you an example, how many of you know Leonardo da Vinci? Okay, so he was he was born in 1450s and all, and he was known to be a great sculptor. He was a, a engineer. He was an artist. He was a painter. So a lot of different kind of fields. Do you think what what kind of passion he would have had? What was his single passion? He didn't have a single passion. So whatever you no know, you discover as you go along in your life and career, you start getting, you start experiencing that. So it's mostly about you no. Know, uh, instead of you discovering your passion, you start discovering various things that you can build your passion upon and that is how you can deliver quality work, that's how you can grow in your careers. I've been talking the last few minutes, talking about business skills, working hard, or you build your passion, do things like that. So have I really implemented that? Now I started my own company, so what did I learn, what did I do? Absolutely yes. Now today the company that I run, I don't have one single customer. So we talked about business, knowledge of business. Today I have multiple clients, tens of clients, and I need to learn the business about every one of them. Each one of them I need to understand what kind of things they require, what they need to do. So these are things that I learned in my corporate world. And I need to work hard and then build passion. Like I said, when I started on IoT, we started with one, one small product. We did a telecom remote monitoring system, and then somebody came and said, hey, we have an energy monitoring system that we wanted to do. We started doing that. Then we started doing GPS, then we started doing gas monitoring. So anything to do with monitoring, we started building those things. So not so many products. So I can't go and tell today, oh, I have a passion for only one subject or one area. It's how you, you know, inculcate these kind of things. And all of this is possible only because of working for a, for a big organization. And you need to build a career in an organization. A lot of times people come in, they say, oh, we quit in one year or two years, there's a new package coming in. I don't know why you choose the company that you choose. Is it because of the money or because of the of the company's brand? But end of the day, you need to build. You don't need to get an MBA. You, you just walk into a corporate. You are doing an MBA right there. That is your MBA. Okay, you don't need to go to any graduate school because these big companies that you're joining today, the minute you enter, you are going to come up with another degree in your hand. Last but not the least, uh, my experience and all of you would have also faced it in your life. There are good days, there are also a lot of bad days. There will be bad days also. So how do you manage it? You need to look back at your own good days. What are the good things that happened to you? What are the successes that you had? Look at, look at all of you here. You have studied 40 to 60 subjects. You have that in you, so this is a success for you. And then you enter, if it's, if it's a minor failure, you can look back and say, hey, if I can do those 40 subjects, the 50 subjects of very different uh, zones or areas that you have studied in, I can crack this code, I can do this job. So why, why, why not? So like that, you need to start looking back. You don't need to look, to look at inspirations from Steve Jobs or Bill Gates, anybody. Just look, at, look back at yourself. You are yourself your own you know, inspirators, right? So with that, I would uh, I would end my speech. Thanks, you have been a great audience. Listen patiently. I also thank the management and the faculty of Geetham uh, Institute for inviting me over and having me as a guest here. I really appreciate uh, this. Thank you all. Only students, parents, and the teacher for students, ladies and gentlemen. Friends, I'm very much delighted and nostalgic today to be here and address on this occasion. Mrs. R. said, President Ravis is said that there are three very important days. I am thinking I have the fourth day where in today I am here on my daughter's achievements day is also a memorable day for me. I, I wish to place some records and I am very happy to say that Geetam is such an university wherein 
they are only not only providing academic career and academic skills to the students they are also providing various co curricular activities like the the very good uh, communication skills the leadership skills the various ethics and uh, the analysis proficiency and presentation skills so all these things like various uh, student bodies activities like disha and uh, the various cultural activities so so many things like you know the uh, uh, industry basically i am very happy to convey my wishes to all these people and uh, uh, i would like to suggest few things to the students is mr sarvan is very interesting the attitude to the uh, attitude towards the uh, management attitude towards the uh, work hard work attitude towards the learning attitude towards uh, listening all these things will help them in certainly achieving their next level of targets this is what they are first students it's our thing um parents are doing their job for bringing you to graduate in your uh, courses teachers professors and university are doing their job for making you converting you into various of the industry and no correct the opportunity is with you it is basically the way you know some is to you are the great of your own history so now is destiny is with you the world of opportunity is available for you to reach the targets i have few suggestions with respect to the curriculum as provincial has told that he is willing to and he wish to see the organization to reach 6 lakh packages in the next few years all the students who are being placed now are going to different industries different companies with a 6 months training or one year training or maybe more than that also are provision as a person has actually traveled more than uh, uh, 10 to 15 countries in uh, uh, different places i have seen the world i have seen different people different companies what i feel is the industry is lacking the ready made people now we are actually in the uh, generation of ready made uh, clothes when we go to the shopping we generally go for ready made shirts ready made pants not for stitching even the industry also looking for the similar kind of things the people who readily can deliver the things for them in case if the university can think of the industry required solutions i think provincial agreed to that they are doing it maybe a little bit of more uh, uh, industry uh, practices to the students will help them in directly going and starting the deliveries not the timing that will save the time for the industry and also for the students and this is this way i think in provincial wish can be achieved digitally and uh, i wish actually if the training and placement cell not only enhances the number of congratulations to all the students who got placements now peru krishna prasad peru sirkla father of harinaga sai peru sirkla computer science and engineering now by harinaga sai peru sirkla he यूनर्सीटी अडम अंत बिरदनाभिवृद्धि चूसा पेरेंट गीत यूनर्सीटी अबाई जॉन चुड़ ने बदवी मंच मार्क उत्तीर्ण कैंपस् सूटेड कंपनी सवाल आल 
ఈ రోజు నెరవేర్చినందుకు చాలా ఆనందంగా ఉంది అందుకు గీతం యూనివర్సిటీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ వారికి ఫ్యాకల్టీ వారికి నా ధన్యవాదాలు తెలియజేసుకుంటున్నాను వీళ్ళ హాస్టల్ వసతి కూడా బాగా అనిపించింది ఒక అమ్మాయిని హాస్టల్లో చేర్చాలంటే చాలా ఆలోచించవలసిన విషయం ఎవరికైనా అటువంటి ఏమి లేకుండా చాలా బాగా అనిపించింది వసతి కూడా బాగున్నది స్టడీ కూడా బాగున్నది వీళ్ళ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కూడా చాలా బాగున్నది ఫ్యాకల్టీ కూడా మంచిగుంది మాకు ఎంతో ఆనందంగా ఉంది గీత యూనివర్సిటీలోని మా అమ్మాయి కూడా జాబ్ వచ్చింది కాన్ఫిడెంట్ జాబ్ వచ్చింది అన్న సాఫ్ట్వేర్లో హలో విత్ మై వైఫ్ మేడం జ్యోతి కుమారి హూ ఇస్ హూ ఇస్ అ ఫ్యాకల్టీ మెంబర్ ఇన్ సివిల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ సో మై జర్నీ విత్ గీతం స్టార్టెడ్ సిన్స్ ఐ మ్యారీడ్ హర్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీడే ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ గీతం ఈజ్ నియర్లీ గుడ్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు మై సన్ and also to my spouse my son is somewhat a peculiar person like almost all the fathers i too worry so many times about his career he most of the time used to spend in extra curricular activities rather than books his mother used to be sick with all the time with books but he used to be with extra curricular activities like martial arts dance table tennis football by coming to books he used to హైదరాబాద్ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ గీతం హైదరాబాద్ బిజినెస్ స్కూల్ స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మసీ 
స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ విద్యార్థులకు విజేత దినోత్సవాన్ని ఘనంగా నిర్వహించారు అచివర్స్ డే సందర్భంగా ప్రాంగణ నియామకాల్లో ఎంపికైన ఇంజనీరింగ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఫార్మసీ సైన్స్ విద్యార్థులకు నియామక పత్రాలను అందజేశారు రెండు వేల ఇరవై ఇరవై ఒకటి సంవత్సరానికి దాదాపు అరవై ఐదు దేశీయ బహుళజాతి కంపెనీలు హైదరాబాద్ గీతం ప్రాంగణ నియామకాలను నిర్వహించి తొమ్మిది వందల మూడు విద్యార్థులకు సర్టిఫికేట్లు అందజేశారు ఈ సందర్భంగా టెచ్యువా సిఇఓ శ్రవణ్ రెడ్డి మాట్లాడుతూ ఈ విజయం విద్యార్థుల్లో ఆత్మవిశ్వాసం పెంచడంతో పాటు వృత్తిపరమైన నిర్ణయాలు తీసుకోవడంలో తోడ్పాటు అవుతుందని ఆయన చెప్పారు విజేతలను అభినందించారు